प्यार सत्संग जी प्यार से बोलिए सतगुरु सतनाम सत साहिब जी सतगुरु सतनाम सत साहिब बोल सतगुरु देव महाराज की जय सतगुरु देव महाराज की जय सतगुरु देव महाराज की जय आज के सत्संग के आनंद की जय आज के सत्संग के आनंद की जय निरंकार आद शक्ति सभी देवी देवता परमहंस सतपुरुष जी आई एम हेयर बिफोर यू टू से समथिंग रिगार्डिंग सत भक्ति माय टूडेज टॉपिक इज विदाउट सोल रियलाइजेशन लाइफ इज मीनिंगलेस विदाउट सोल रियलाइजेशन लाइफ इज मीनिंगलेस सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी कॉशियस वाइल अंडर गोइंग वर्शिप ऑफ गॉड गॉडिसज आर सतपुरुष यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड योर ओन सेल्फ फर्स्ट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन इन योर लाइफ इज टू विजुअलाइज the value of your own self you are not a body you are not a mind you are not wishes you are a complete soul not only soul you are truth and you know that truth is god and god is truth but the most important thing is that you in these three lokes is in a bondage your soul is not free it has been chained your hands are handcuffed and legs are chained so we have to realize and visualize the cause of this soul from where these chains and handcuffs have come they have come from mind what is mind mind is a single unit it sends waves in all directions in your body because man buddhi chit and ahankar are the units of mind they are well within your body functioning each and every second so these thoughts and waves just like wishes desires fear jealousy anger ego prejudice these are the chains without any visibility of these all they are not visible these are invisible identities in which you are put your soul is put so soul is totally in the clutches of mind it can't function of its own it acts as a slave it is acting as a slave for the centuries together you have taken and myself have taken millions and billions of births on this planet during these four ayojan chokris after every inhalation of the universe we come again on this earth because we are not getting permanent salvation from this earth the main objective of we is to understand ourselves and to get liberated from mind and maya you know that in any game the players are well set they move 
homogeneously with full of knowledge of each other they have got coach they know where to play and when to do what others can't do same is the case with you you have to train your soul you have to direct your soul without training and direction of the soul mind is very superior very intelligent because he is governing all the three lokas he is king of these three lokas patal seven lokas of patal earth then seven lokas of sun and seven lokas of mahasun unless and until you realize the bondage you can't be free secondly what is your aim of coming on this planet why we have been sent over here we have been sent simply to play a match with kal narendran and to defeat him and go back to our lord and for this you require perfect guide master teacher that is satguru who himself is enlightened and he will enlighten you without pure and true satguru you can't be liberated true satguru can be realized seen by his actions his thoughts his behavior his attitude his love towards all humanity at large so we have to see first of all that from where we have come and where we have to go we have come from amarlo satlok begumpur which is the true about of we all hansa satpurush is the supreme concentration endless ocean of the whole amarlok including these three loks he is present over here also there is not even a single space where he is not present mo ko kahan dhoonde re bande main to tere paas mein where he is why are you searching for him he says i am within you he is residing in our heart in the form of surati and he is residing in each and every breath whatsoever you take in and out when you take they are in breathe in nirti comes along with air into your nostrils the main function of surti is to get united with nirti that is coming in both her souls surti and nirti are both souls but their joining and combining makes you conscious makes you elevated it elevates your soul it awakens your soul it liberates your soul so the surti of satguru is not an ordinary thing it is the surti of satpurush it is he who gives this pars surti to a saint and he also gives him the power to spread it among other souls other hansas so as to liberate them from the clutches of kalmarinja so the most important thing 
in this universe is to find out true and real Satguru. I Venam Das, who is sitting before you, has been provided two, two very important words. These words are soundless sound words. They cannot be spoken. They can't be listened. They can't be written. They can't be read out. You have to speak these words in surati. Concentration. Nobody can listen it. It is only the surati that picks up. The way I picked up Surati from Satpurush. After my visit to Amarlok Begumpur, he came himself in my small room of upper house to provide me this knowledge. This soundless sound word, this alive holy name, which can never be destroyed by any source. It is an everlasting bliss with you. It can ignite your soul. Your soul is not perfect. That's why we call it Atma. Atma contains mind and maya. These both are baser elements for, for soul. They are not allowing it to get permanent salvation. So by Gurus of this planet, give or make a soul to move towards temporary salvation. You can go to Petrlo, you can go to seven heavens, you can go to seven lokes of Sun, you can go to seven lokes of Mahasun. This is not enough because after the lapse of good karmas, characters, with the elapse of time, you have to come back to take birth on this planet. So that is not the liberation. It is just to go for a picnic, whatsoever you have earned, collected, spend and come back. So same is the case. According to your karmas, do you gain and go for a picnic in those very spots. And after the lapse of those karmas, you come back on this planet. So what we have to do for attaining permanent salvation? We have to attain truth because God is truth. He is nothing less than truth. So we have to understand what is truth. When a soul is free of all sort of good or bad thoughts. Thoughts are thoughts, whether good, whether bad. Good thoughts make you to move towards spirituality, but for the limited benefit. But when you Elevate the soul with Sar Surat Shabad, Venam Sabad, which cannot be written, spoken, or with a tongue or with a mouth. It has to be spoken with Surati. So, unless and until you have the complete knowledge of Surati, you can't do this. So, for that you require a perfect 
and elevated Satguru, who is in touch with Satprush all the times. He doesn't spend even a single minute without the guidance of Satprush. He is fully aligned, attached with the Super Soul. Super Soul is endless soul. It has no boundary, no limit. He is behind limit and boundaries. So Amar Lok is the Lok from where we have come and it is the true boat where we have to go and go when you are alive. Have a death while living and how this death can take place. It takes place when your breath doesn't go to naval base. How oh, it can take place? It is the process of concentrating our Shushmana. Our Shushmana is concentrated with the help of Ingla and Pingla. Ida and Pingla are two can be given names. With the help of breath, surati and alive holy name which is given to Satguru by Satpurush himself. First of all, it was Kabir Sahib. 550 years back, he received the same surti, sabad, which is not shabad, but it is sabad, which can neither be spoken, not read out, not can be written, not can be understood. It has to be understood by surti alone. Because mind cannot touch this, mind can't come closer to it. It is such a powerful thing that mind has to be kept away from Surati Shabad. And for that, we have to excite, we have to surcharge Shushmanana. So, Ida and Pingla are eliminated and then Shushmana is awakened. When Shushmana is awakened with the help of these three things I told you earlier, Surati, Surat Shabad, that's Venam Shabad, and your breath, they are made to mix and the whole attention is put in these three. Your attention, your concentration is with the breath and sabad. Make it to move upwards from your shushmana. It will move towards Agya Chakta. In Agya Chakta, Atma resides. And there you have to create Satguru. Your Surti will call your Satguru to come. It is the Surti concentration which reaches even to Satlo. My Surti goes to Satlok within no time and Satprush comes to me within no time. Every day he comes to me once or twice or thrice. For seconds, not for minutes, for seconds just to make me alive of his presence. This gives me strength 
inspiration and new life. So all that I can do is to concentrate on him because I have seen Satpurush, I have seen Satlo, I have seen so many Paramahansas of Satlo. So after the lapse of 550 years, it is me, a das of yours, who is sitting before you, has been enlightened by the Supreme Power and being interested with two words, Sar Shabad and Surat Shabad, and has given the name Venam. Venam in single inverted commas is Satguru, and Venam in double inverted commas is Sar Shabad, Surat Shabad, the Surati of Satprush. So Satprush himself is Venam, without any religion, without caste, without any surname, so same is the case with me. I am without any name, without any surname, without any caste, without any religion. I am pure Hansa and nothing more and nothing less than that. And in that Hansa, my Satguru always resides. Before having a glimpse of Satprush, you must consider your Satguru as the supreme power on this planet. He is more superior, more ahead of God. That's Naramkar, Kal Narinjan, Omkar, Bhagwan, because he is purely a mind. He is to delude you. He has to bewilder you. He has to put you in the shackles. And Satguru is there to break the shackles and to liberate you from the clutches of Kal Narinjan and to make you to go to your real home and to live with true father Satpurush. So without true and real Satguru, you can't be liberated. You can't visualize that you are in chains. You are bound with this universe for centuries and centuries together, kyamat after kyamat together. Why don't you want to liberate yourself? Because you don't have the knowledge of that. That is the biggest tragedy. And that knowledge is received through Satguru. It is only the Satguru who can infuse a new life in you to make you realize your true identity. You are not mine. You are not a beggar on this planet, but you are a king on this planet. You are very, very rich within, but you never try to move within yourself. You are always moving away from God. He is residing within, but you are searching him outside. You are moving away from him. You are not moving towards him. You have put your face away from him. So whatsoever you are doing is not leading you towards your real home. You are moving away from the real home. What sort of worship or bhakti you do is there to give you profit benefits. But those profits and benefits are temporary in nature. They can't liberate you from your anger, from your jealousy, from your prejudice, from your fear, from your wishes, 
from your desires. These are the chains put before you, but you are not aware of these chains. You are under locks and keys of these thoughts and ideas. They are very strong locks, but invisible. You have to get keys to open these locks. Without keys, these locks are surti locks. You can open these locks with surti. They are made up of such thing which infuses waves. These are wave locks. But for centuries together they are with you and you don't have a slightest glimpse of this. You are totally leading an ignorant life. So, you have to establish faith and faith is not established unless and until you have got this holy alive name. It is only this holy alive name which can strengthen your faith, hope and make you to move away from desires, wishes, anger, jealousy, fear, and the most and most powerful law, ego. You can liberate yourself from relations, from money, from house, but you can't liberate yourself from ego. Ego is very powerful. You have to become a blank paper. Once Ram Krishna gave an example to his disciples, he said, you have to become insignificant. You have to become nothing invisible, not to be seen. So for that he said, take a statue of ice, a big statue of ice and put it into the sea. It will go on melting, melting and melting and ultimately it will disappear altogether. So with the continuous surti concentration along with the word surti and pavana you can do this slowly and steadily all thoughts will disappear all wishes will go all desires will vanish anger will go so where is the fear when there is ego there is fear the ego is gone Fear is gone, prejudice is gone, everything is gone, all the locks are open. You are liberated automatically. But you have to be very good and excellent player to handle it. Talk less. I told you yesterday also. Talk less. Move inwardly more. Your inner journey counts a lot. Put your face 
before your Lord. Because when you have to see your Sadguru Vidan, you have to see face to face. Your Surti moves inward towards Agya Chakkar. Sadguru is already there because you have put your Surti in him and he is fully aware of and he reaches much earlier than you. So the moment you meet him face to face, you got liberated. Because from Agya Chakkar, that is 10th Chakkar, you are taken to 11th Chakkar. One and a half hand above, Shashastha Sar Chakkar. That is Surat Kamal, Sat Guru Slok. Very nice and very excellent Lok. You will find your Sadguru if he is true, provided he is perfect and he has received this blessing from Supreme Lord, not from anybody else, not from Kabir Sahib. Kabir Sahib is not the final authority. Satpurush himself is the final authority. Kabir Sahib, Baba Nanak, Ravi Das, Miraji, they came to meet me themselves. And in the first visit of theirs, Satpurush too was with them. At that, at that time, I was not given by him anything. They came met me. Then for the next time, he made me to realize Bulle Shah, Rabda Kipana, Adru Kutna to Udarlana. What is the meaning of the soul? I said from outside to inside. We have to move from outside to inside. Then he took me and made me to visit so many loaves and places along with him. And during that very period, he went on teaching, how oh, I have to behave, how oh, I have to speak, how oh, I have to go in inner bhakti, inner worship. So all is being done by Satpurush himself. Satguru is the Surti of Satprash. That is why we say exalted Surti of Satguru. Surcharged Surti of Satguru. Supreme concentration Surti of Satguru. So it is Supreme Surti of Satguru which he gives or infuses into your ear so that you get enlightened and surcharged with this surti to get illuminated with baser elements of mind. Your baser elements are the various thoughts and wishes which are infused by single identity of mind into your mind. So your mind can be made pure, livable when the Sar Shabad is with you. Then your mind is free, it's empty where Surti Satprash himself resides and naturally it should be empty. So when you will be empty, you will, heart will be empty. And when your heart will be empty, you will rise above the level of earth. Up to what extent it exists? It exists up to 
महासन एंड यू विल राइज अब महानसन विद इन नो टाइम सो वाइल अटेनिंग दैट वेरी स्टेट यू बिकम जीरो जीरो के हेर फेर से खुदा से जुदा हुआ जीरो को पलट सीधा किया तो खुद खुदा हुआ वैन यू विल बिकम जीरो यू हैव अटेन ईच एंड एवरी थिंग इट इज द बेस एंड दिस बेस इज द फाइनल बेस यू यू गेट द डिजायर्ड एंड चेरिस्ड प्लेस ऑफ अमर लोग from where you have come on this planet and you have to go to the same house again so please remember this all but the most important thing for this all is <clears throat> you have to understand yourself thoroughly you consider yourself as a single body that is the tragedy you are not a single body you are a composition of six bodies i mentioned yesterday also you are a composition of six bodies but you are taking the help of only two one in which you are working and the other in which you are taking rest and have a sound sleep or have dreams स्थूल एंड सूक्ष्म यूर मेन टॉसिंग बिटवीन दिस टू एंड आई टोल्ड यू येस्टरडे दैट इफ यू डोंट मेक यू मेक यूज ऑफ लेग्स यू विल नॉट बी इन ए पोजिशन टू वॉक इफ यू विल नॉट यूज योर आर्म्स यू विल बिकम आर्मलेस एनी ऑर्गन विच इज नॉट यूटिलाइज प्रॉपरली in homogeneous way it becomes insignificant and it means it doesn't exist it becomes lifeless so same is the case with the four bodies that you possess along with these two bodies they do wonders when i say become insignificant when you reach in the sixth body you start becoming irrelevant when you become irrelevant you become relevant and for that you have to pay attention towards what you eat jeevana maro bapre sab mein ek pran hatya kabhi nahi chhootti koto padho pran you have not to give a slightest taste of any animals flesh in any form because killing any life on this planet can never provide you permanent salvation so you have to first of all pay attention to what you eat when you eat take limited quantity don't go after the taste of the thing you eat put the limit and take that much whatsoever may come before you for eating you have to be very conserved in thoughts actions and deeds take care what you eat take care what you do take care what you are doing at the time of eating at the time of eating you have to thank each and every creature of this universe the maker of this universe your satguru and the plant or tree from which that diet has come because he is also 
living like you and he has surrendered before you to eat me so you have to put thanks to him for whatsoever you are taking second comes drink you take water you take milk you take so many drinks but be careful never drink any alcoholic substance that is a sin your soul can't be elevated it is not only the sin in words sin in action your body cannot be surcharged in presence of such like things in your body because up to excretion they are within you so you, where where you see that god is also existing there you put such like things where god is also residing will he like those very things if you are drunk and you are sitting before your wife your children what will be their condition you can well visualize if you are sitting in a garden you have been intoxicated by the smell of the flowers but at the same moment if you put a bucket full of rubbish full of dirt the whole atmosphere will be surcharged with the with the bad smell of the bucket that fragrance of the flower will go because rotten things have more effect as compared to sweet smell fragrance of the flowers fade away before the smell of the dead things they create havoc for you so you have to be very vigilant at the time of eating drinking and third comes behavior your behavior counts a lot and behavior comes from your thinking if you are full of mind your behavior will be different but if you are full of surati no mind behavior will be just like truth you won't utter a single word you will simply smile if you, if somebody says something good or bad has nothing to do with you you will remain calm composed and in a disciplined manner because nothing is good and bad in this universe it is the thinking that makes it so it is your thinking that makes it so think less go in surti remain in surti be in touch with your sadguru be in touch with your sar sabad surat sabad venam sabad be in touch with that so slowly and steadily your behavior will be an excellent behavior everybody will get intoxicated by your behavior your attitude your way of your way of talking your way of dealing you will show sympathy and sympathy to everybody that means love will invoke in you you will be full of love every organ of your body will be full of fragrance of love when truth comes love is already there to receive him so when love is there surti is always there surti of satguru chetan surti is there be thankful to it when chetan surti is there satpurush is there he is also present there so when satpurush is present there 
in what way you are lacking now you are so rich sab ki gatri lal hai koi nahi kangal gre khol nahi janta tai be o kangal and then you will become blank paper i may mention to you in english i narrated that story of eknath eknath wrote a letter to his equivalent guru of nature nivriti nath they were living far away from each other the messenger played the part eknath gave the letter to messenger and messenger came to nivriti nath handed over the letter to him he opened the letter read the letter got a men's player and he closed his eyes for some time thanked him not hundred but thousands of time for sending this letter nearby was sitting another disciple of his a lady mukta bai he gave that very letter to mukta bai to please have this letter and read out she read the letter again she also got intoxicated while seeing that very letter then namriti nath asked the messenger to please wait and take the answer of the letter as well he folded that very letter in the similar manner in a very humble nature full of love and dignity he gave that very letter to the messenger and said to him please take this letter back to eknath this messenger got surprised he couldn't restrain himself so he spoke out he said to nivriti nath sir this letter was blank nothing was written in it and you gave the same letter back to me without writing anything in it so what is the reason behind it eknath smiled and raised his head and said to the messenger this letter contains the praise the love the surati surti chetana blessings of god himself so what we can write for the unwritten what we can write for him we can't write anything for him so i again mention an other instance instant of the same in nature i along with satpurush visited shah shastra lok which is golden yellow from all sides in a circular order and inside there is a thick black matter there is a v shaped door internally black and outside you see you have seen 
it is golden yellow in color so it is not of wood or of anything but it is of light and dark matter and prior to that whenever i visited sya shastra lok when i was doing bhakti of kal naranjan i had reached to that very place i could only move in a circular order around the golden yellow color and used to come back i couldn't enter the gate though i used to see three personalities standing there waiting for me one of them was known to me because he was my guru in the bhakti of narankar other two were perhaps of my previous births so on that very occasion when i went with my satprush we reached there with a vihangam chal which is provided after we come out of six bodies when a soul is capable of coming out of six bodies you get vihangam chal that is very fast speed when i was moving alone with of my own i used to cover that very distance in one and a half hour but when i visited with satprush i covered that journey within half an hour so this is the difference because when i was worshiping nirankar one can get two type of speeds mean and papil papil is far sun loks and mean is far maha sun loks and to go around shashastra sar lok but you can't enter into it without satprush so it is only the first time on earth even kabir sahab has not visited shashastra lok and this venam das visited that shashastra lok along with satprush only one person can enter at a time from the v shape gate of shashastra lok first satprush entered and then i entered so where is the difference between god and satprish they are working in cohesion they are working in collaboration each and every one is acting and doing his job perfectly well there are no differences between satprish and god so whatsoever is written in the granth of kabir sahab i should say it is very sad who has written why written is not clear to me but in my books i am writing in a very simple and sympathetic manner because everyone is performing his duty as he should when i was handed over by indrankar to satprush both were standing near the gate of my upper house because they are were fully aware of that i used to start my inner journey at exact 3 am so at exact at 3 am they reached there and i too reached to there spot wherever they were standing i reached there i bowed before narankar i put my head on the feet of narankar and at the same time i saw two feet two foot 
in the back of in the middle of the two legs of Narankar I touch those feet as well because those feet were of Satpurush himself so Narankar was there to hand over me to Satpurush and Satpurush was there to receive me this is the love if you don't demand anything this is written that if anybody don't demand anything don't desire anything from narankar in in the whole life of his bhakti i devoted almost 50 years in the bhakti of narankar and after that i was handed over to satpurush then i started my bhakti of satpurush i was sent to my satguru from there i received that very holy name of kabir sahab because my satguru possesses the holy name of kabir sahab not of satprash so in the sya shastra lok when my hand was in the hand of satprash we were swimming together in the sun tat a paper appeared before me in between the two hands that's mine and satpurush hand where picking up each other's hand and at that very spot a paper appeared none of us picked up it remained as it is we came back next time when i visited Amar Lok Satpurush inquired from me have you understood the meaning at that very moment I had I had become disciple of my Satguru and I had talked to my Satguru also that this thing happened because Satpurush had turned himself into the body of Satguru shape of Satguru so I was in my own sense with satguru not with satprish it was only when satprish himself narrated the story about that very paper then i came to know that i was with satprish and not with my satguru so my satguru's limit was up to agya chakra and not after that he couldn't pick me up from agya chakra it was satprish who picked me up from agya chakra and took me to 11th chakra that's 8th lok 7th lok to 8th lok 10th chakra to 11th chakra so the whole story was revealed to me when i met to satprish in amar lok and he said that this paper was related to your previous and present situation and about the future the things are very clear that you will never be in birth and death cycle you are free from birth and cycle of kal naranja you have attained nirvana you have attained moksha you have attained salvation that is permanent salvation moksha and nirvana so this white paper means truth love anand sruti so you have to become that one without that you can't reach to satlo so very satsang ji this was all about white paper you have to become white paper that's complete truth to attain your final goal of life that's amar lok your true destination your true home to pyare satsang ji pyar se ke ye satguru satnam sat sahib ji satguru satnam sat sahib ji satguru satnam sat bol satguru dev maharaj ki jai satguru dev maharaj ki jai satguru dev maharaj ki jai aaj ke satsang ke anand ki jai आज के सत्संग के आनंद कीजिए